Welcome to another edition of the Weekly 90, where we run you through the week that was in about 90 seconds. It's been a rough time for BC evacuees who have had to leave their home for safety reasons following the ongoing outbreak of forest fires. We wanted to take a moment to offer our thoughts and prayers to those impacted by this tragedy. We'd also like to give thanks to the brave men and women putting their lives on the line to get the situation under control and get families back into their homes. It's times like this that bring out the best in Canadians, where we band together for the greater good. Speaking of unifying for the greater good, out in Alberta, there was a massive and historic vote for Conservative unity, where 95% of Wildrose and PC supporters voted overwhelmingly to put their differences aside and create a united Conservative party dedicated to getting Alberta back on track. Meanwhile, back in Ottawa, the federal Conservatives front bench has begun to take shape as Leader Andrew Shearer unveiled members of his leadership team, including Deputy Leader Lisa Raitt, Party House Leader Candace Bergen, Chief Opposition Whip Mark Strahl, Quebec Political Lieutenant Alain Reyes, and Chris Workington as the Deputy House Leader of the Official Opposition. While we were announcing our leadership team, Justin Trudeau was still out selling access to the government at fancy fundraisers, this time in Toronto, where the Liberal Party charged a steep $1,500 a head to mingle with the PM and other government officials. See you all next week. <laughs>